What is up? What's going on? So I'm investing in a bunch of stuff. I invest in stocks. I invest in Pokemon cards. I invest in all kinds of stuff. But my new investment is flesh and blood. And today I'm going to tell you why I believe in it and why I personally am putting my money into it. Uh, this is not financial advice. Take everything with a grain of salt. But I would love to hear your thoughts on my whole uh, investing hypothesis, if you will. So without further ado, let's get into the reasons why I am investing in flesh and blood. Reason one, the owner seems genuinely passionate about the TCG scene. He seems like a nice guy. And I just, I you want to root for the underdog. And this dude just seems genuine. He's on the front lines playing the game with fans. Uh, I just, I'm rooting for him. What do I, what do I got to say? That's it. Thank you, James. Thanks Thank for you. making such a great yeah. job. Everybody dreamed it. Thank you. This is only here because of you. Yeah. 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 Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Reason two. This is a game that was designed to be played in person, aka in flesh and blood, which to me goes hand in hand with those principles of support your local game store. I just feel like, again, this kind of goes back to the owner's heart and head being in the right place. I, uh, it just seems positive to me. The game just seems like it's got a positive message. Reason number three, it's pre-pandemic. Now again, this is a game that was designed to be played in flesh and blood. So the fact that this game survived the pandemic and it's basically its first year, it came out in 2019, uh, that that's pretty rough that is pretty rough so the fact that it survived and not only that but it is going very strong which leads me into reason number four which is the competitive scene there is a solid competitive scene filled with passionate players and the prize pools are pretty insane uh, allegedly the pro play 2024 prize pool is 1.5 million dollars reason number five is legend story studios the makers of flesh and blood tcg uh seem to be serious about not printing the game into the ground unlike some people <clears throat> but anyway yeah they're not going to print the sets into the ground which is to me seems like a good thing uh reason what am i at six or seven? Oh, shit. number six i think there's going to be a streisand effect because the company decided to remove first edition and unlimited boxes but to me i think that's actually going to make those boxes seem that much more valuable i think they're trying to make it seem as though hey that stuff doesn't matter but now people are going to look at that as the og version the harder to get version and i think people are gonna value more i i don't know we'll see how that ages but th those are just my thoughts on that and reason number seven is that it's turning the heads of dedicated magic players there are countless people at my local game store who will tell me how much they love to play flesh and blood some of them have even mentioned that they prefer to play flesh and blood over magic the gathering right now which i think is pretty awesome i think that shows that there is a bright future for flesh and blood it's not just a fad it's legitimately fun but don't just take my word for it i bumped into greg at my local game store you might recognize him from a previous video but he actually took the time out to tell me what his thoughts were on playing flesh and blood versus magic the gathering what i like about flesh and blood is the ability to always do something on my turn i always am capable of doing something on my turn or between turns. And it's a, it's a very careful calculation of how much do I want to defend versus how much do I want to attack. Sometimes magic is, feels like your deck just fizzles. In flesh and blood, I always feel as if I have the capability of winning. Thank you for your thoughts, Greg. I do appreciate you taking a second to talk to me. And the last reason I'm investing in it is because I'm an idiot. And this could go one of two ways. It could be either A, I'm an idiot and I wasted my money, bad move. Or B, I'm an idiot and even I can see the undeniable long-term success of this TCG. So maybe if even someone like me can see the potential, maybe then it's just a no-brainer. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching my video. I love you so much. And I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.